Well, she may jump off buildings and beat people up for a living, but turns out stunt woman Lonnie Galera's life has also had a few rough patches of her own. So here to tell us how she's using her story now to inspire the next generation of young women is the stunt woman herself, uh, Lonnie. Thanks for joining me, first of all. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, so let's talk about your uh, stunt woman now, work in Vancouver, very tough, strong woman. Um, but your beginning of your story of your life, unfortunately, has a few situations that happened. Um, your mom passed away, you mentioned, at the age of 10. First of all, what was that experience like for such a young girl? Uh, my mother was a very big part of my life. She had a huge influence on me. She was active in all areas of my life, so to lose her at that age uh, was very difficult. And I, my father was always in the background of, of raising me and my sister, so I think he had a difficult time picking up that, that role when my mom passed away, so. Yeah, and from there, you mentioned you ended up moving out at, at 13. Um, what, what was that experience like? Were you just living from house to house, or? Well, my mother, my, my father remarried when I was 12, so I didn't necessarily get along with my new stepmom. And we fought a lot, so. I ended up getting kicked out of the house when I was 13 and I ended up living with friends. I moved in with my boyfriend when I was 15 years old. I ended up moving out on my own when I was 18 years old. But uh, my father, when he kicked me out of the house, he didn't really know what to do with me. So he gave custody of me away to the courts. So he didn't have to pay for my living expenses. Wow. So. There was a lot of um, abandonment at the age of 13 yeah. and rejection. What's amazing though, when I, when I listened to your story, you still managed to you know, be involved in sports in high school. You maintained an honor, honor role. You know. um, how, how did you continue to keep your spirit so high during that tough time? I relied heavily on my friends for support and I uh, just found an independence within myself and um, maybe the courage to put myself out there and keep on striving to make my own dreams come true. Right, yeah, just push yourself to keep going was the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you did, you end up working uh, randomly on a cruise ship as a fitness instructor, mm -hmm. pretty cool for a few years, and then all of a sudden became a stunt woman at the age of 23. There's a couple uh, phases of life in between yeah. those. <laughs> I put it out there to the universe, I just basically said I really want to do something that is fun and exciting and rewarding and challenging and physical. So you worked on X-Men, also uh, The Whispers, I know, The Killing. And interesting, you said, yeah, the role of a stunt woman, it isn't just, you know, doing the tricks, you know, that part's not easy, but it's also just the metaphor for getting up when you're down and having that perseverance, right? How important is that in being a stunt woman? So, yeah, I think that having the skill set is important, but as a stunt woman, what's even more important is your ability to get back up when you've fallen down. And even when you've hurt yourself, to get back up and be able to do it again and dust yourself off. Uh, the metaphor for falling off a horse and getting back in the saddle and having that courage and that bravery to put yourself out there and continue to take calculated risks. We're all very different and there is a huge stereotype when it comes to stunt women in particular and when I meet people for the first time they often think that oh you're a stunt woman you're really tough or butchy or I'm gonna beat them up or I'm really competitive or I'm really masculine in some ways and if anybody w knows me they know that I'm the exact opposite of all those things mm -hmm. I love to do physical activities and different sports and have fun and I do love adrenaline to a certain amount but I'm very safe about the things that I do. I'm not gonna beat you up. I am very feminine. I'm very much a woman. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not, there are certain women like that and some of them are my really good friends, but I'm, I'm not like that. So right. I just, there is a st stereotype that I definitely wanna break. Yeah, and the main thing is you're trying to use your work now to empower the next generation of women. Uh, what's the main message like you're wanting to pass along to them? 
from them looking at your own life story? Yeah, so from my own experience in my teenage years and over overcoming that adversity, I learned about independence and strength and courage and putting yourself out there and then finding balance in life. And those are all things that I would like to uh, empower young women with. I think they're all things that they're not taught in school and I would love to provide that space and be that influence and even that role model for them. Let's talk about uh, the last thing you have an exciting workshop you're in the uh, planning stages for for next spring yeah. here in Squamish for young women. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's going to be a three-day workshop and I want it to be completely empowering and inspiring and motivating and life-changing. So I'm also going to be making it into like a detox cleanse. It's only for three days, but it's going to be all about, we're going to be doing different activities that empower them and give them specific skills like slacklining, finding balance in life, archery, setting goals and hitting your target horseback um, bonding and communication and that's all about um, getting to know yourself because the horse is like a mirror to your energy. Interesting. Yeah and then I have uh, some stunt woman friends that are going to come out and talk about overcoming your fears, putting yourself out there, um, yeah and believing in, in yourself. It's going to be a weekend full of different talks and events and maybe some live music, and it's gonna be a really fun weekend. Okay, well, yeah. lots to look forward to the next year or so. So thank you so much for joining me, Yeah, Lee. Appreciate it. Thank you.